A major severe weather outbreak is expected in our area. Our weather team busy tracking the storms as they develop tonight. For months, we've heard from the Packers. Now Aaron Rodgers is sharing his side of the story, and he's not holding anything back. Later, if you're confused, you're not alone. We're breaking down Dane County's new mask recommendations and where you should think about masking up once again. This is News 3 Now at 5. And thanks for staying with us. Our chances of severe weather are growing this evening. We have live team coverage as we prepare for these storms, but we need to check in first with Dana Fulton. Dana? Again, yes, we do have an alert day in the forecast for tonight. Right now, we have sunny skies. This is an event that's going to develop over the next several hours and as we head overnight. Widespread severe weather likely bringing damaging winds, the possibility for large hail, and right now we are not ruling out a few tornadoes. This is the, the primary concern. We've been elevated now to a moderate risk, uh, a four on a scale to five for areas northeast of Madison. Uh, but these severe levels uh, really expect to stay with us throughout southern Wisconsin as the storm starts to slide in. Again, our main threat with this damaging wind, you can see that elevator really lining up actually with where our, our enhanced risk is, our moderate risk is for us overnight. Currently, a few isolated showers moving through much of the steadier rainfall still to the north, but as we switch our future track over to look over the next three hours, those storms to the north start to get a little more organized, forming more of a line. And this is the line that's going to drive southeast and a move overhead. So this takes us to about 8 o'clock in the night, uh, starting to push further south and really driving closer to southern Wisconsin as we get uh, nearer to that 10 o'clock hour. So right now, this is your opportunity uh, to get prepared for the storms coming up. Make sure if you do have anything outside, it is secure patio furniture or any of the kids' toys that may be outside. Staying away from windows later on today, remembering to make sure you have your phone charged and make sure that things are, are ready to go later this evening with a warning is issued because right Right now, conditions nice and calm and quiet outside. It is a hot and humid evening, but these storm chances building in overnight are certainly what we're keeping a close eye on. We'll take a closer look at the, the timing of these storms sliding in in just a few minutes, Susan. All right, Dana, thank you. The DNR is warning all campers and campgrounds ahead of tonight's storm. Our Adam Duxter is live in Sauk County with the message that officials are sending tonight. Adam? Yes, Susan, here at Mirror Lake in Sauk County, it's really difficult to tell there's even going to be a storm. The sun is out, it's beautiful, birds are singing, but this is exactly the area that the National Weather Service and the DNR fears could get some of the worst of tonight's storm. And the fact that people here are camping just in tents and campers and with all the trees around, some of those straight line winds could really make for a, a dangerous situation tonight. And earlier today, we we spoke with the DNR just about what they're doing to try and get the message out and get people prepared ahead of tonight's storms. We just remind people to be aware of their surroundings, to be um, aware of the changing weather conditions, whether that's through their own weather radio or their phones, um, whether they go to town and, and get service or things like that. But for just the campers and visitors to be aware um, of what their surroundings are and what their plan is while they're at the property. So. And this is the concern really here is that a lot of these state parks don't really have the adequate storm shelters. In fact, here at Mirror Lake State Park, these are the bathrooms. These are the structures really that it will come down to uh, having to take shelter in should things really get out of hand tonight. And we've already talked to a number of people since we've set up here who are obviously not from Madison. They're here camping from somewhere else and they're just not aware that these storms are coming through tonight. So if you have someone who is a loved one or you know someone who's out camping anywhere in this region that's going to get hit with this storm tonight. It's really a good idea uh, to reach out to them as well as, like you said, be prepared, have a weather radio, make sure your phone is charged up and uh, keep an eye on social media as well as our feed to let you know what's going to be the latest with these storms. All right, Adam Ducks reporting live. Adam, thank you. A few reminders of what you can do now to prepare for the storms. Bring in any patio cushions or plants. Make sure your phone fully charged, as Adam mentioned. Put your flashlights in an easy to find spot as well. Be sure your weather radio is programmed correctly and has good batteries as well. Our weather team walked us through this process earlier this year. You can watch their step-by-step -step video on our website, channel3000.com. If you are dealing with flooding, places like Sauk County also have free sand available for people to fill sandbags. They say sandbags will need to be shaped around each other tightly to be staggered on top of one another to help control flooding. Make sure to only use sand 
soil is not a suitable replacement. We rely very much on your damage reports when we're covering severe weather events. If you're able to safely gather videos or photos, feel free to email them to tips at channel3000.com. You can stay safe and informed by downloading our Channel 3000 weather app. It allows you to monitor the storms as they move through the region. It is free in your app store. All right, something now to put a smile on your face. We didn't see this a year ago. Players biking to practice in Green Bay today, signaling the start of Packers training camp. The team typically rides on the kids' bikes, stopping along the way to interact with their youngest fans. But new NFL protocols kept that from happening today, the interaction. However, fans of all ages did line up along the bike path to cheer on the players as they rode by. And Aaron Rodgers laying it all out there today. Following the first day of Packers training camp, the reigning MVP explained what started all this off-season drama. And for that, we go live to Green Bay, checking with sports reporter Jordan Reed on what all Mr. Rodgers had to say today. Jordan? Yeah, Roger said that all of this started back in February. Now, after all this time, he is finally clearing the air. He said earlier that the standoff was never about money, but he wanted to have a voice when it came to decisions regarding his team. Now, Rogers was very candid in his post-practice presser about when all this started and what his thought process was over the last couple of months. At various points, deciding if I wanted to even keep playing. But, uh, you know, the fire still burns, and I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to be on a football team, and um, we got some things figured out in the last few days, and I'm here. Uh, I'm just going to focus on this year. There's a lot of moving pieces besides myself, um, expiring contracts for a number of guys, so there's going to be a lot of tough decisions at the end of the year. Um, I'm just going to enjoy this year and then revisit that conversation at the end of the season. Still waiting to see what his new arrangement looks like right now that is still being worked on as well as something with Randall Cobb. Now Cobb tweeting earlier that he is coming home and Roger saying he's excited that he will be back. So stick with us as we learn more and we get updated with this new information. Hey. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. You get that sense Randall Cobb's part of the deal here. Jordan, thank you. Live in Green Bay. Thank you, Jordan. For the first time since May, Wisconsin's seven-day average of new COVID cases is approaching 500. As cases spike across the country, the CDC is pushing people to wear masks in virus hotspots. They're also pushing people to get vaccinated to help stop the surge in cases. And they fear what could happen this fall and winter. We go into a fall and winter um, with a huge amount of disease already. I do worry that things could get worse, especially with a virus that is so very contagious. While schools and businesses scramble to meet the new guidance, some Republican states are pushing back and rejecting any new mandates. Public health leaders in Dane County want to go on the offensive when it comes to COVID defense. And that's the main reason they're going beyond what the CDC recommends for our area when it comes to masks. Brad Hamilton looked into the new recommendations and what they may do. Whether you've been for wearing a mask, or against it, the CDC's newest recommendation makes us feel like we're taking a giant step back and trying to overcome this pandemic, which has just added frustration to those that we spoke with here today in Madison. If we were all getting vaccinated, we shouldn't even be here right now. This thing should all be behind us right now. Instead, Madison business owner Kenneth Clary feels that we've all taken a step back deeper into the pandemic. The CDC and public health's latest recommendations serving as an unfriendly reminder of how this pandemic has hurt his bottom line. These days are still slow. People we're still working from home and you know, they're just not coming down here during the week. This week, Dane County surpassed 70% of all people having at least one dose of the vaccine. And the CDC does not currently list the county or any surrounding ones as high or even substantial levels of COVID. But Public Health Madison and Dane County are taking the CDC's recommendations of masks for all in those zones and going one step further. We'd like to prevent our, um, prevent getting to an area of higher transmission, which is why we're putting forth this advisory today. In a statement today, Public Health further explained why they're recommending we all wear masks here, saying that though the county is in the moderate case rate as of right now, they see cases rising rapidly. Doctors like UW Health's Nasaya Safdar understand that thought process and agree. Better to take a step back now to prevent falling completely back in the near future. If you're continually confronted with circulating virus, 
it's going to evade the vaccine in the sense that it will cause mild symptoms, which is what these breakthrough infections are. So if you have this added protection of the mask, I think we can help drastically reduce that risk. Public Health MDC also wanted to make mention that because of our area's high vaccination rate, they decided to go with the recommendation instead of a mask mandate. Reporting here in Madison, Brad Hamilton, News 3 Now. And just a reminder, this is a recommendation by the county, not a mask mandate. Kids under the age of 12 are being asked to wear masks as the Delta variant is spreading. That is new guidance from Wisconsin DHS today. Columbia County Public Health announced it recommends back to school vaccinations for kids 12 and up. Fewer than 40% of kids in that age group in Wisconsin are fully vaccinated. But many school officials in the county say the shots are a perfect personal choice and they likely will not be enforced. It's personal choice. Every family has a different situation. We are doing our best to offer the best opportunity we can for education for our students and to have students in our buildings. LeMay says vaccine hesitancy in Partyville has been mixed, but the school district's own vaccine clinic brought in about 70 people. Pfizer says it has some promising data about a vaccine booster. The company says it'll apply for emergency use authorization for a third shot soon. Researchers say a booster shot six to 12 months after full vaccination is likely to provide the highest level of protection, especially against the Delta variant. Pfizer says it also wants to study an updated version of its vaccine to target the Delta strain. Wisconsin still inching closer to half of the state's population being fully vaccinated. Right now it's at 49.2%, one-tenth of a percent higher than yesterday. UW Health recruiting a familiar face to spread the message that COVID vaccines are safe and effective and help you get yours for free this weekend. Christina Laurie caught up with former Badger Monte Ball about why this cause is so important to him. Number 28 is known for turning things around for Wisconsin on the football field. Now UW Health hopes having Monty Ball on its team will be a game changer in helping the state of Wisconsin improve its vaccination rate specifically within the black community. We've been reporting on doctors' concern for weeks that while nearly three quarters of white people in Dane County are vaccinated, three quarters of black people are not. Yes, there are some things that the healthcare professionals have done to kind of break that trust with the black and brown communities, but this is not one of them. Monty takes pride in being a role model here in the Badger State, which is why this weekend he's partnering with UW Health and the Wisconsin Alzheimer's Disease Research Center for a clinic, encouraging people to get their vaccines. This is something that we most definitely need to come together as a team and do. The statistics show that if you are vaccinated, yeah, you're, you're, you possibly can still catch COVID, but your chances of being hospitalized with COVID after your vaccination is decreased. Reporting in Madison, Christina Laurie, News 3 Now. Ball will also be signing copies of his new book, Nowhere to Run, at the clinic. The event runs from 10 to 1230 this Saturday at Penn Park. As COVID cases continue to rise across the country, millions of Americans could soon lose their federal safety nets. The federal eviction ban issued by the CDC is set to expire at the end of this month. The Biden administration has extended it several times over the past year, but has said it will not be extended again. A Dane County man accused of killing his father has been bound over for trial. Trial. Court officials believe there is enough evidence to move the case against Chandler Halderson forward. He was arrested after reporting his parents missing earlier this month. Bart and Krista Halderson were last seen at their home in Windsor. Some of Bart's remains were found at a property in rural Dane County. Police are still searching for Krista. Their efforts recently turned to searching a pond near the Halderson's home and a landfill near Johnson Creek. You can read about about some of the evidence collected in this case online at channel3000.com. Simone Biles taking herself out of another event in Tokyo. Next at five, we'll hear from a former Olympian who says she's proud of Biles for putting herself and her health first. And there's more local news ahead. PFAS are everywhere. Now there's a new statewide effort to keep our water safe and free of those chemicals. How you can help, that story's coming up tonight at six. And mixed results today in Wall Street. The Dow and S&P 500 suffer small losses. The S&P NASDAQ picks up 102 points. We'll be right back. 
Menards has what you need to keep your home safe. From smoke and carbon monoxide alarms to fire extinguishers and more, Kida Home Safety Products keep your family protected from emergencies. Grab a general-use fire extinguisher. It lasts up to 12 years, and it adds an extra measure to protect you and your family at home. Save 11% on all Kida Home Safety Products right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. The math is pretty simple. During the back-to-school sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, save up to $100 on Doctor's Choice mattresses. Any size, any model. Or check out the Queen Size Summit Firm. Easy on the wallet for only $299.99. Scientifically stabilize your sleep on a Tempur-Pedic and get a free $300 gift. Plus, four years no interest financing and free shipping right to your doorstep. The back-to-school sale. On now at Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress. We're here at the local farmer's market where Informed Choice Insurance Agency is offering fresh, hand-picked Medicare. What do you mean when you say shop local for Medicare? A lot of Medicare health plans have benefits that are specific to each county. So why would you call a national 1-800 number about your health insurance decisions? Your local Medicare plans have all the bells and whistles the national TV ads promise, only better. Don't get fooled by national TV hype. When it comes to Medicare options, keep it honest. Keep it local with Informed Choice Insurance Agency. And they're free. Unlock a summer of possibilities in a new Chevy. Expand your options and your perspective. Find your next adventure in a new Chevy. Make no monthly payments for the rest of the summer on all Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, get 2.49% financing when you finance with GM Financial. And get $2,000 cash allowance. If you can afford to launch yourself into space, you can pay your fair share in taxes. But billionaires and big corporations have avoided paying taxes for years. President Joe Biden's plan makes the rich pay their fair share so we can cut taxes for families with children and create millions of good jobs. Tell Senator Ron Johnson to stop putting billionaires ahead of the middle class. If you can afford to joyride in space, you can pay your fair share. Thursday morning, we're keeping an eye on the severe weather and we'll bring you any storm damage from overnight. Plus, our special coverage of the CrossFit Games continues with the story of one of the youngest to compete. Join us from 4.30 to 7 for News 3 Down this morning. When it comes to weather, only one thing really matters. Accuracy. Only one station can be the best. News 3 Now. First Warn Weather has the most accurate forecast according to weather rate. Count on First Warn Weather for your most accurate forecast. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Simone Biles will not defend her Olympic title. The gymnastics superstar is withdrawing from tomorrow's individual all-around competition at the Tokyo Games. Today's decision comes a day after Biles removed herself from the team following one rotation. Biles says she did not feel mentally ready to compete. She was a favorite in all of her events, but is making her mental health a priority. Her decision is being praised by many high-profile athletes, including tennis star Naomi Osaka and gold medal swimmer Michael Phelps. Biles is receiving a huge outpouring of support and former Olympians say they can relate. I remember stepping out into the Georgia Dome before the 1996 Olympic Games and prior to doing that having an emotional breakdown just feeling all the pressure that uh, Team USA felt from needing to make history. I love the fact that she listened to herself and she did what was best for her mental health. The International Olympic Committee increased mental health resources ahead of this year's games. Psychologists and psychiatrists are on site, and a helpline was established for athletes before, during, and for three months after the games. Wildfires in the United States have burned nearly three million acres so far this year. That's about the size of Delaware and Rhode Island combined. The bootleg fire, the largest active fire right now, that's burning through southern Oregon. More than a half inch of rain fell on parts of the fire today, bringing some relief. The fire has destroyed more than 400 homes and buildings. 
There will be added police patrols this week near the site of a deadly house explosion in Jefferson County. The home was located in the village of Rome. A man inside the home died as a result. Several homes were also damaged. Crews are now working to secure those properties. Neighbors say you, can, you could smell natural gas at the time of the explosion. The state's fire marshal is now overseeing the investigation. We've been keeping a close eye on our severe weather outlook. Here's meteorologist is Dana Fulton with the very latest. Dana? Yeah, right now, again, the targeted area for severe weather covering all of southern Wisconsin and central Wisconsin. I, I want to break down a little more, though, what this moderate area means. When we get closer to the event building in the Storm Prediction Center, uh, starts to break down what the threat is for hail, heavy rain, high winds, or tornadoes. And, and right now, we're really not ruling out the possibility for a few tornadoes to spin up with this line passing through. Large hail possible mainly north of us, but still seeing the possibility down into southern Wisconsin. But the primary concern here still is the possibility for very strong damaging winds, sustained winds in these 60 to 70 mile per hour range, gusts even higher. So at that point, we're almost a hurricane force winds coming through in straight line winds. So even though we might not have a, a tornado on the ground, the possibility for significant wind damage uh, certainly in the cards for us tonight. The timing of this this event also a big part of the equation. This is going to be coming through overnight and that's not always the best time of course to be seeing a severe event coming through a lot of people heading to bed going to sleep. So tonight you need to make sure however you receive your weather alerts whether it's a weather radio or your cell phone you have that on and the volume up ready to go because as we get closer to 7 8 o'clock near sunset the rain not quite building in yet but by 10 11 this line really sinks south and just slices through southern Wisconsin. Notice how these storms form together in a tight line and that's really pushing our winds. When we see those storms come together a little more, it gives us the better opportunity to see very high strong wind gusts passing through. So as we get closer to midnight, heavy rain coming right over southern Wisconsin, those strong winds, wind gusts coming along with it. Early Thursday morning, much of the rain moving south of us by daybreak, by early in the morning on sunrise, but we might still have an isolated shower early in the day. Tomorrow afternoon, high temperatures Temperatures will be in the mid 80s. We'll be back to sunshine. So this is a quick overnight event that passes through for us. Friday, we're also expecting sunny skies and it'll be a little cooler outside for Friday afternoon. High temperatures landing in the mid 70s. Right now, localized flooding, not much of a concern with this event because as you just saw, the storm slide through very, very quickly. Some folks could pick up a little over an inch and a half and we could certainly see some isolated areas where these storms bring a little more accumulation, but not as concerned about flooding because things are going to move quite quickly in this line coming through overnight. So again, the alert day in effect for tonight. Right now we have sunshine. In fact, for the next few hours, things should look quite calm for us. It doesn't really build in until later and it does look quite likely that we are going to have this widespread uh, severe threat for us overnight. Thursday, it'll be warm outside and a little humid, but by the weekend and by Friday, as you just saw, high temperatures will be cooling back just a little bit. For tomorrow, in the mid 80s for us, partly sunny sky. For Friday, we're in the low 80s with a little bit of sun coming through in the afternoon. Partly sunny skies for Friday, close to 80 degrees, mid 80s on Saturday. A slight chance for an isolated shower or a thunderstorm late in the day or at night Saturday. And then we're really going to hold on to that sunshine into the start of next week. High temperatures trending in the upper 70s. This time of year, average highs usually pretty close to 80, so pretty comfortable for the weekend and for the start of next week. And the dry trend likely going to extend through the middle and end of next week before our next opportunity for some showers starts to creep in as we look ahead to the following weekend. As far as traffic conditions right now, we're not seeing any major accidents on the roads. That's always good news, though there are a few slowdown spots along the Beltline east and westbound right now near 151 and Fish Hatchery Road. We're seeing uh, a few brake lights, but things are, are slow and go. At least they're still moving right now. The interstate north and southbound for Rock County and for Dane County, no delays this evening. From the Beltline to Janesville, 25 minutes, 16 minutes to get from Middleton to Sauk City and downtown to Sun Prairie. We're sitting close to 17 minutes this evening. That's a quick look at traffic. All right, Dana, thank you. Everyone's buying more things online these days. Now a new app is trying to make it more sustainable. The story coming up after the break. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor.
Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Erectile dysfunction for men of all ages has become much more common. In fact, most men don't realize that 90% of erectile dysfunction is a direct result of broken down old blood vessels. This causes a lack of blood flow that is critical when achieving an erection. With our state-of-the-art technology, we're able to stimulate new stem cell growth right in our office with no pills, no needles, no surgery, and no pain. To book your consultation and get back to natural functionability, call Peak Performance for Men today. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. <laughs> no more Freon for your AC. Oh, no, the homeowner's called Action Man and his action team. Call on Action Plumbing, Heating, and Electric at IWantActionNow.com. What can I get you, young man? Free installation! Coming right up. Feldco's biggest sale of the year! Free installation! Plus, no interest until 2023. Free installation on window siding and doors and Saturday. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Here at TSR, we transform old, cracked concrete floors into beautiful, tough floors in just one day. Hi. I'm Joey with TSR Concrete Coatings, and here at TSR, we don't just simply coat over your old concrete. We grind it down, repair it, apply the base coat and chip, and then seal it with our own proprietary sealant that will never chip or peel. All of our coatings are covered by our exclusive lifetime warranty, so you can rest assured that your beautiful new floor will last. Our awesome team is here to answer all of your questions before and after the installation. And right now, we are offering 15% off your new floor coating until the end of the year. Visit the website or call that number below for your new floor today. One day floor. Call 1-800-886-8411. HowHisApartments.com helped more renters get into new homes than any other site by working tirelessly to design 3D virtual tours that are so realistic it actually feels like you're there. But that's all thanks to Ted, a man who possesses an innate understanding of dimension. Ted? Sorry, I was in the zone. Also, my name is Brian. <laughs> Apartments.com, the most popular place to find a place. Oh! You're watching News 3 Now at 5. A new app is delivering online purchases in a more sustainable way. Now, it's called Olive, and here's how it works. When you buy something through the app, your items will be sent in their traditional packaging to Olive's warehouse. Olive employees will gather your items and send them to your home in a reusable tote. They also make sure the original cardboard and plastic shipping items are properly recycled. My husband jokes that every day that ends in a Y, there's like a brown box like appearing at your door. There's a lot of things that I try to set an example for my children and fail miserably, but you know, I think it's super easy to be able to set an example with recycling. There's no additional shipping costs to use Olive. The company's founders are also working with stores to have their reusable totes sent directly to shoppers. Stay with us. Dana continues to track tonight's storm. She has a final check of our first worn forecast coming up. Shop the summer savings sale at Grand Appliance for the area's lowest prices, plus an extra $200 back on top brands exclusively at Grand. Save on thousands of in-stock options like this Bosch Ultra Quiet Dishwasher for just $5.98 or this Samsung Front Load Washer for just $6.98. Shop online at GrandAppliance.com or at your local Grand showroom for these great deals and more. Grand Appliance, the appliance expert since 1930. Don't you wish you could wave a magic wand and have whiter teeth? 
Well, you can, but it's not magic. It's power swabs. Just swab your teeth for five minutes and boom, whiter teeth and a better smile. And since you're not dealing with messy trays or awkward strips, you're less vulnerable to the harsh sensitivity they sometimes create. I've used strips. They seem to really hurt my teeth. The power swabs, it just seemed very gentle. It's so simple and easy. You just open it, you apply it to your teeth, you forget it's there. And I noticed that they're white and bright again like they were before. I noticed it's actually a difference the first time that I use power swabs. You put on the first coat and then the activator goes on and immediately you start seeing it working. It only takes five minute applications to get a brighter, whiter smile with power swabs. You just snap, swab, and smile. Power swabs have been clinically studied to whiten natural teeth and remove stains from caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so powerful, it removes stains from coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. I love my coffee in the morning. I will never stop drinking coffee. I will not be the person drinking hot coffee with a straw. As much coffee as I drink, I can use my power swabs and eliminate the staining. When I use the power swabs, I applied it directly to my front tooth where the coffee stain was. I like being able to individually get the teeth, and most importantly, it got kind of in between the grooves. You can put it directly on the stain that you see on your teeth, and it's so precise. But as powerful as it is, it's also gentle and causes zero to minimal sensitivity. This didn't sting, it didn't burn, it didn't have an aftertaste. It was just a swab and I just got to rub it around my teeth and that was it. Take it from me as someone who has gone the dental route but has also gone on the shelf route and I've not really seen anything work as effective and as easy as power swabs. Whiten your teeth today by ordering power swabs and receive 40% off the regular price. Shipping is free plus you receive a free quick stick pen to use on the go after meals or a cup of coffee. Visit powerswabs.com or call the number on your screen. At Pick and Save, we take scrutinizing freshness to a whole new level. We're only the best of the best of the best will do. But just because you can't get any higher than perfect 10 produce, that doesn't mean that we won't try. Because Pick and Save produce isn't just fresh, it's fresher than fresh. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Dane is here with a final check. Right now, of course, we're keeping a close eye on tonight. There'll be the chance for uh, a widespread severe weather moving through later on tonight. Once we get closer to about 10 o'clock, we could see an isolated shower or thunderstorm early in the day Thursday. Otherwise, partly sunny skies expected for Thursday afternoon. Highs will be in the mid 80s. We cool down a little bit on Friday, close to 80 for afternoon highs. Overall, very pleasant this weekend. Mid 80s, partly sunny for Saturday, mostly sunny upper 70s for Sunday and for Monday and dry weather for next week. Well, keep an eye on things. CBS Evening News is next. We're back at 30 with more updates on News Now at 6.